Here's my homepage, and um, we just recently, Katie, uh, Lisa, and a colleague, Nathan, and myself, just went into, um, uh, in the spring semester, we did an OER, is that a badge, Katie? Yes, I, I, I did the OER uh, prep course, and now we are, this is our first course that we're presenting health education as an OER class for our students. Um, can you tell you real quick what OER is? For folks yeah, so OER is the Open Educational Resource Pro, uh, System. Basically, we are offering free textbooks to the students. Um, students, as you know, can go through different, uh, you know, you're using different textbooks. And, and for years, I used McGraw-Hill textbook, and um, I felt like it was a great medium. But, you know, as student costs are increasing, um, I really felt uh, dedicated to the students' needs for cheaper education, you know. And so um, this past uh, spring, we've developed a, a course, and this is our pilot run through the, through the OER uh, platform. And you can see on my left side here, um, the text is here and it's embedded, it's a PDF. You click on that link, um, it'll take you to a, a PDF. And it's, um, we, we sh the, the OER resources are shared and they are enormous in terms of all the things you can share with OER. So we actually adopted this textbook from College of the Canyons, uh, Community College in, in Santa Clarita. In Santa Clarita. Um, and so they had already, so we didn't have to reinvent the, 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 you know, the wheel here. But what we did have to do is we had to supplement because, um, you know, some of the things that the textbook had or didn't have, um, you know, didn't meet our needs. So a lot of times, and I can show you in the model uh, modules, I know I'm talk, talking about my homepage, but um, we had to, to supplement sometimes just because the textbook didn't have everything we needed uh, that we thought we needed for our students. So I can show you that in a minute, but I'll, I'll go to, into my, um, my homepage first. And I was looking at a lot of the homepages that were being posted on the discussion board for the, the, uh, the buddies page. And I, you know, I think one of the things that I would always recommend is, is the less text that you can put on your homepage, the better. Um, this might even be much, too much text in, in my, my opinion, but um, at least it, it gives them an introduction. It talks about what we're talking about. Obviously in, in health education, um, you know, I, I included COVID-19 because of how pertinent this is in, in, our, in our lives right now. And um, so um, I feel like this gives them a quick update of, hey, this is what the class is gonna be like. It's normally eight weeks, or it's normally a 16 week class taught in eight weeks. Um, they can click on the syllabus right away and get the syllabus right here, or they can also preview it, you know, um, and that's a, a quick, easy preview for them to do. Um, you know, you scroll down, and you can see the whole syllabus. I think one of the things that I have not seen on a lot of home pages, which I really like, and I feel, feel like the students have given me good uh, feedback are, is this major due dates and assignments. A lot of times um, instructors, professors have them embedded in their syllabus, which is fine but then they got to go find it. They got to go searching through the syllabus. Hey, when is this due? When is it not due? I have this on my homepage and it's very simple. It's a page that I, I made. You click on the page and it's very um, easy for them to, hey, this is when things are due, right? So you have exams when they're due, the current event assignment, when's it due, the, the, the big fitness project at the end, when's it due? Um, I feel like it's made it very easy for my students to know exactly Oh, when is this something going to be due? You know, we do have that calendar option on the op on the on the right side as well, um, and I'm I'm sure most people are are aware of the calendar option. Let me move my people here, so they can view the calendar too, and and that's on the home page. And if as long as you've had all your uh, you know assignments with a due date, they'll be on here, right? So you'll you'll be able to find. Whoops, excuse me they'll be able to find all the due dates and, and such. Whoops, I don't want to do that. So there's all the due dates and they can see it. But I, I also just really like how um, my homepage has just a really easy link to those due dates and the, and the students can see that. Um, and then in, for the first day and for the first week, I think a lot of students are pretty, um, can be intimidated and they're not really sure what to do. So I have, you know, first day assignments, say this is what I want you to do on the very first day. And then as they get through it, they can kind of start looking at what each uh, module is going to consist of. So these are my modules that I have. The orientation module talks about uh, it's just some little, uh, um, if you go to the orientation module, 
it has a little orientation overview. It talks about the syllabus. It talks about expectation, and it gives those day one instructions. Um, with my modules, too, I also have Canvas tutorials. Katie was nice enough to have a lot of um, resources for us to, to, to put up. So there's different Canvas guides and talks about the mobile app and support. And then module A is really, hey, how do I even use this? So they have to send me a message through the inbox, OK? Um, they have to submit an assignment to me, which um, they're only worth a couple points, but it's something that, hey, a lot of students don't know how to submit an assignment. So uh, this is a, a little extra two, two point, you know, submit an assignment to me, how to, how to put a, uh, a post on the discussion board and then just an orientation quiz. And once they do that, then they can start getting into the actual modules and there's where health education unit one. Um, one of the things I think I mentioned with our OER is that we, um, we didn't have everything in that textbook that we wanted. So we, we put a lot of TED Talks in. So I have uh, three different TED Talks in our, our stress chapter uh, that we talk about. Um, and then we go to outside sources to do a lot of evaluation of people's worksheets and our lifestyles and stuff. So this is a worksheet that we made, but it actually takes you to a, uh, an outside source. It's, it's a University of Wisconsin um, lifestyle, evaluate your lifestyle. And then they, they just have to do an assignment with that. So, We've, had, we've, we've, we've made a lot of assignments because of the fact that um, we're, you know, McGraw-Hill had a lot of things where it was already canned for you. You already, you didn't have to do anything. They already had these worksheets set up. They had PowerPoint set up. They had everything set up. So we actually had to go in and, and, and do all that to make sure that the open educational resources are um, complete and, and they have everything that we want. So. I know I jumped around a little bit there, uh, talking about not only my homepage, but the OER a little bit. But um, this is kind of the way I've set up my uh, homepage. Not, not overly complicated, but again, I think it's got some really good links to the, to the first page that you can really uh, know where, you're, where you should be going and, and what you should be doing. So, questions?